I've tried 32 different mineral sunscreens and I'm going to walk you guys through each and every product, share my personal opinion. When it comes to mineral sunscreens, my priority is always the texture and how it applies and how it feels on the skin more than the ingredients and more than any other aspect of the product because mineral UV filters like zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, they're wonderful ingredients. However, they do come with very, very undesirable white cast and also unpleasant texture that's very thick and chalky that doesn't spread or blend in pretty well. So even if one sunscreen has a killer ingredient deck but the texture is really really unpleasant, I think it really discourages you from wearing more sunscreen. Number two is that I really appreciate mineral sunscreen that require less rubbings. A mineral sunscreen that absorbs pretty fast or disappears from your skin pretty fast is always a bonus, it's always a plus because the more you rub it in, it kind of moves around all the moisturizer and all the hydration layer that you packed up underneath. Number three, when it comes to ingredients, I really do appreciate the presence of antioxidants in sunscreen such as vitamin C, E, or other plant extracts that does have a really potent antioxidant power. It does boost the UV protection and also it stabilizes the entire formula. I divided all the products into five different product groups today. So the very first product group is oil in water that feels more watery than oily or greasy. So let's begin with this product group first. Starting off from Paula's Choice, I have two mineral moisturizers from the Calm Redness Relief range. It does contain SPF 30 and it is broad spectrum. They are wonderful. If you are looking for a mineral sunscreen that isn't drying, these two are just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful recommendations I was pleasantly surprised I've been using it ever since I got it and it just feels very comfortable on top of the skin it doesn't irritate or aggravate the skin in fact it actually soothes down the skin both of them do use nano zinc and also nano titanium dioxide as far as I know it doesn't leave any white cast or it doesn't require a really long rubbing time or blending time super duper moisturizing and it does have two different versions so the first one is normal to oily combination skin and another one is normal to dry skin and of course the moisturizer for normal to dry skin has more moisturizing property it contains a lot of moisturizing ingredients as well such as butylene glycol apricot oil soybean sterols which is a wonderful cholesterol extracted from soybean ceramide so the moisturizer for the normal to oily combination skin contains very soothing and very hydrating ingredients such as green tea leaf extract chamomile aloe vera juice licorice root extract algae extract panthenol and it does set to a more matte finish however it's not uncomfortably drying at all dr. G green mild up Sun SPF 50 plus PA 4 pluses which offers a great EVA protection I love the texture of this I love how it applies to the skin because it's very watery it feels very hydrating as you rub it in it absorbs pretty quickly and it sets down to a very very matte finish it doesn't leave any white cast behind however it can be extremely drawings. When I tried this first in winter time, my face was almost tearing apart because it was so dry. I think it will do well in high humidity weather and for extremely oily skin. Your makeup doesn't stick or adhere well on top of this because it's so dry or just because it's so matte. This product does have essential oils and it comes with a lot of other ingredients. So if you do have sensitive skin, this isn't the best option. Ooh, this one I really, really, really like. It is the Pharmacy Green Screen SP. PF30 broad spectrum sunscreen and it does feel a lot similar to the Paula's Choice Calm Mineral Moisturizer texture and how it feels on the skin. It's very hydrating, super cushiony. It just blends into your skin right away. It doesn't require a long time to absorb into your skin, which is always a plus. The white cast disappears as you rub it in. It does set to a matte finish, but it doesn't feel extremely dry. And Pharmacy is known for their green field of Eukinesia and they have this Eukinesia green envy complex I believe that's the proprietary antioxidant blend so good good antioxidant power coming from plant extracts if you guys are into it next up we have this Clinique broad spectrum SPF 30 mineral sunscreen fluid for the face and I do believe it is perfect for sensitive skin as it does have a super simple and compact ingredient list there's no bullshit there's no fancy ingredient that would aggravate the skin it is just really simple it says it uses the invisible 
invisible shield technology, which I do believe that they're referring to using nano zinc or micronized zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. It is ultra ultra lightweight. It just blends in and soaks into your skin like magic. It disappears right away. This is great for your eye area as well. So for those of you guys who want to use sunscreen around their eye area, it never ever irritated my eyes. So I highly highly recommend this. A 2000 prize mild airy finish SPF 50 plus PA triple plus. This is another super fluid liquidy milky kind of texture and it is very 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 lightweight almost to the point that you don't really feel anything as you blend it in it does feel hydrating but also it does feel like traditional sunscreen just a tiny bit with that a little bit initial grease but it just sets down to a powdery very airy finish right away if you are someone who has a lot of oil production going on this might be super duper helpful you can't really beat the price it is ten dollars i believe in korea it does have essential oils though so it wouldn't make the best sunscreen option for extremely sensitive skin moving on to the next product group these are the products that doesn't necessarily feel super watery or hydrating but it's not necessarily greasy or oily at all these sunscreens would be perfect for normal to combination skin first off we have this tarte tarte guard brow spectrum spf 30 it has a lot of good reviews so i tried it out it's very very fluid super liquidy compared to a 2000 and the clinique one it does take a little bit more time to blend in and the white cast slowly fades away so even though this does have a very pleasant finish and pleasant texture i don't know why but when it comes to liquid sunscreen i would much prefer the clinique one or the etude house one i didn't really reach for this also it does have a very interesting fragrance to it which kind of smells like a sweet melon which does throw me off a little bit uh yeah murad environmental shield city skin age defense broad spectrum spf 50 pa4 pluses i love this so much and i wish i didn't like it because it is the most expensive sunscreen from the entire product line up today but it is really really well formulated it is a light liquid however it doesn't feel overly drying it still leaves you that kind of moisturizing barrier but it's not too sticky or greasy or it doesn't feel heavy at all the formula has a peach tint to it but it doesn't leave you any tint or color to the face it blends in right away it doesn't have any white cast whatsoever i think that peach tint naturally revives your complexion it does make a really great makeup primer as well because it leaves a very silky finish and it is supposed to block uva uvb pollution blue light from smartphone and screen devices and it is supposed to block you from infrared radiation it claims but i still question that aspect of the product because infrared is more like heat related but even though i was testing a lot of mineral sunscreen this is the one that i always came back to on normal days when i'm not testing anything i've never heard of this brand but i found it from iherb so it's the my shell dermaceuticals sun shield liquid spf 50 broad spectrum and i got this in the non-tinted formula it is pretty wide casty but if you don't mind that kind of fairness this might be a great addition it does come in this shake it up bottle and it is a very fluidy milky formula out of the entire liquid sunscreen this feels slightly greasier once you apply it it does feel hydrating but it sets to a more greasy or sticky tacky finish so i'm not sure how i feel about this it's definitely not the best sunscreen out there but if you are looking for a natural sunscreen that has natural ingredients since i have always carries those kind of natural skincare line this might be in your alley it does contain bentonite which i found pretty interesting because bentonite tonight is something that is used in a lot of clay masks and it's there to absorb all the sebum it does also have bisabol oil which is another soothing ingredient that i really like next we have the first aid beauty ultra repair pure mineral sunscreen moisturizer broad spectrum sp40 that helps hydrate and soothe stave off the free radicals and it claims to be non-comedogenic this is also a great 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 one for sensitive skin especially if you do have more drier skin type it is a kind of moisturizing product so if you're someone who is looking for a moisturizer plus SPF, this might be a great option along with the 
Paula's Choice one. For me, I like everything about this product except the application process. It does take a long time for you to rub it into your skin. So personally, I would choose Paula's Choice over this, but this has a lot of great soothing and calming ingredients such as collodial oatmeal, urea, allantoin, avocado oil, and shea butter for nourishing and moisturizing. The white cast eventually goes away. It does leave your skin a little bit moisturized, but it doesn't make you look dewy or glowy. Drunk Elephant Umbra Tinte Physical Daily Defense Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 30. This just makes me look like a disco ball. <laughs> and it is a tinted sunscreen and it does have a very terracotta, brick, red, orange hue to it. If that's the look that you're going for, it might be great. And it does have fine shimmers in it, so this is not definitely for acne prone skin or a sensitive skin type. But if you just want that kind of radiance and the glow and the dew from a sunscreen, this might be perfect. It is a creamy emollient formula, so as you rub it in, it just feels super duper hydrating, but it sets to a super greasy finish. But I gotta say, without having any silicones in it, I think the formula itself and the spreadability, the blendability, and the application was pretty amazing. Next product group is oil-based products. So it is going to be best for dry skin or who's looking for a more nourishing and more moisturizing finish. At the same time, it does mean that it is a little bit too much to use in the middle of summertime. First, we have another cult favorite, SkinCeuticals Sheer Physical UV Defense Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50. It does say it is transparent, however, I do not agree with it. It does leave a slight wet cast. Even though it does come in this liquidy, fluidy texture, it doesn't feel weightless. It feels like you have a little bit of grease going on and it leaves that kind of, yeah, that zinc oxide dew. I don't know if I got the wrong batch or if it is like that in general, it does feel great while rubbing it in so it scratches my entire face it's a little bit too disappointing for this and I think there's definitely better sun liquids out there Clinique also has another sunscreen fluid under the pep start range and this is SPF 50 so higher than the one that I had shown you guys I really had high hopes because I really liked this so much but this just felt really wrong while rubbing it in i was like oh this feels a little bit oily and greasy and in fact it left a very greasy film on top of my skin which was too much for oily skin but if you do appreciate that kind of shine and greasiness this might be your best friend but i i don't know it just gave me some white head i needed to wash this off right away josie marin argan daily moisturizer spf 47 i think this definitely has a very niche audience who really loves that kind of oily and greasy moisturizer moisturizer that has argan oil in it. It is going to be perfect for winter time if you're looking for a more nourishing and more oilier sunscreen. To me, it was a little bit too intimidating. The texture, I would say it's more like a dense milk. It does spread easily, but it does take a little bit more time to completely blend it in. It does leave a slight white cast. It has a lot of natural organic ingredients. So if you're into that kind of organic trend, this might be a good option for you guys. A lot of you guys have asked me to include include some sun sticks. Personally, I'm not a really big fan of sun sticks because it's really not hygienic. I don't want to rub it on top of the makeup and use that again. But here it is, the Super Goop SPF 45 Mineral Sunscreen Stick with Avocado Oil. And I would have to say this sun stick is definitely designed for drier skin type or for winter time. The number one ingredient is beeswax and that's common for lip balms and solid cosmetics. I do use this as a lip balm. I just dab my finger, rub it in, and then dab it onto my lips because your lips do deserve sun protection as well because it has really really thin skin. Shea butter and linseed oil, olive oil, avocado oil, chia seed oil, jojoba seed oil, and there's a lot of, of cocoa butter as well so it's a very buttery stick. The next product group is basically a makeup primer sunscreen and these are the sunscreens that are captured inside the silicone vehicle it just evens out your entire surface and the texture your makeup just glides on top of your skin and it does provide you a very silky velvety matte finish and texture wise all of these four are very very similar to benefit professional primers it does have that kind of very dry silicone feeling first off we are going to start off with the australian gold botanical sunscreen spf 50 mineral 
lotion. I know a lot of you guys really, really adore this product. It is very affordable for the amount that you get. It does have a moussey, creamy texture and it just blends into your skin really, really seamlessly and effortlessly without any white cast. This is a tinted formula, so on my skin, it does leave a more tanned, kind of reddish finish. I love the application. I love everything. It sets to a matte, very silky, velvety finish. After wearing this for two days, I got a lot of, a lot of whiteheads. I think that was the turn off for me. It's Elta MD UV Physical Broad Spectrum SPF 41. I know a lot of dermatologists recommend and love this. It is a tinted formula and it's supposed to be for extra sensitive and post-procedure skin and it is an oil-free formula. For me, it was okay and I still prefer the UV Clear over this one because that's more hydrating. It's feels more pleasant this actually pilled like balled up even more than my uv clear one which already balls up pretty enough compared to australian gold this definitely has a little bit drier texture but it blends in more quickly and it blends in more seamlessly the glow biotics md tinted sunscreen spf 30 it is a lot similar to elta md one in the sense it has a very drier silicone primer like finish and texture however this doesn't ball up at all so it was way more pleasant than applying the LTMD one overall it's a great sunscreen but I don't feel like it is worth $65 Kula mineral sunscreen SPF 30 matte finish and this is my very first Kula product and I was very disappointed because of the texture and it just completely threw me off it has a very 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 dry textures. I felt like I was just kind of rubbing a liquid paper, if that makes sense. It does make your skin super duper duper matte and it was way too dry my, on my skin. Last product group is the one that you would hate and I really hate. It's the really pasty traditional sunscreens. First off, we have the Neutrogena Sheer Zinc Dry Touch Sunscreen and there's nothing sheer or dry about this product whatsoever and I don't know how they named this as a sheer and dry sunscreen but I heard that this product does have really good PPD rating which is the protection level against the UVA so I might just use this on the beach like all across my body since it is white like you kind of physically see that you applied sunscreen so I feel like it really will physically block the UV rays. It is recommended by the National Eczema Association. So if you have severely broken skin barriers such as eczema or even really severe rosacea, this might be a really great option. But again, if you do have sensitive skin, I think the best option is to physically cover with a face mask, sunglass, and sun cap, and everything else besides just wearing a sunscreen. The CeraVe Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Face Lotion. And I had high hopes for this because I love the entire concept of CeraVe. I love how affordable it is. They always use niacinamide and a lot of good ceramides and skin restoring property ingredients other than that like this really wasn't special or it's not a pleasant sunscreen to apply on a daily basis it's really thick and it's hard to rub it into your skin so it definitely moves around your moisturizer and hydrating layers i don't think it's a heavy heavy cream but it's still a creamy traditional sunscreen juice beauty spf 30 mineral moisturizer in sheer i really didn't like this it's it's just way too traditional sunscreen like it is so damn hard to rub it into your skin it just takes a long time to actually get rid of the white cast and it doesn't necessarily feel moisturizing at all so i don't know what the purpose is for this and it has a really 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 strong herbal scent which is a little bit too much. Now, moving on to the product recommendations for each skin type. First off, for oily skin. Second, normal to combination skin. Third, for dry skin. And if you do have extremely sensitive skin, these are the options that you guys can look for. And if you have dark skin, these are the sunscreens that wouldn't leave you any white cast. I really really wish you found this informative because I spent a lot of time and also money on buying everything here and if it was please don't forget to share it with your friend that really really helps me a lot to to spread the name and spread the love and if you were new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell button down below and I'll see you guys on Instagram at Leah Yu. Bye!